CAPTCHAs, CAPTCHA Breaker, ReCAPTCHA, HCAPTCHA, Complicated CAPTCHAs. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Actually, so let me just pause for a second and give you this. If you go to contactchecklist.com, so just contactchecklist.com, and I'll put it in the description, but if you go to contactchecklist.com, you can get the whole checklist. Now, it might change over time as I improve things because there's a lot of plans going on here, right? So there's some videos set up for like the actual contact forms and that sort of stuff. Got a video here for the VPS, got some links and resources. So where you can get lists done for your services, tools, other resources, that sort of thing. Got an actual checklist to help you, you know, just like some steps to walk through. Um, and so it's going to change and I'm going to expand more because honestly, by the time this is done, it'll be a master course and it'll be well worth more than $997 if I was selling it as an actual master course. Um, but at least for the time being, now I might sell this at some point and take this away, but for the time being, you can actually just get this for free. So if you just go to contactchecklist.com, you can grab it while it's still free. So GSA Capture Breaker is the program you see here. Uh, you probably have it. And once it's set up, it just runs. If we pop open a little notepad here, let's do a quick recap of the types of CAPTCHAs, three types. And the types are, the first one is basic text capture, right? So this is math, two plus two, you know, two plus three equals what? And it has to tell it five or, you know, what color is an elephant? Let's see if I can spell elephant and all these colors. Uh, and you know, the answer is gray, right? Right. Whatever, right? It's a basic text captcha. Second kind of captcha is an image captcha. These are the um, funky, um, different colored things with different letters and text. Let me show you. So they can be stuff like this. They can be stuff like this, where it's all just skew, not a whack. We're not talking about these where you click on the cards. I'm talking about basic image captures. So anything like this where you're punching in letters, where you have to like decipher it from this blurred out stuff. It can also be stuff. Um, where it has like this stuff right here, where it has all these different colors and stuff in the background, right? That's an, a basic image capture. That's what I'm talking about. So image capture, where you have an image and you have to type out some text or numbers, etc. right? The third kind is, uh, I'm going to call these more complex, uh, harder captures. This is reCAPTCHA version two and version three, and then HCAPTCHA. So GSA Capture Breaker, like you saw here, it solves number two here, which is the image captures. It's the vast majority of the basic captures out there. There are some text captures. They aren't used as often anymore these days as they used to be used. Um, and so they're fairly, it, it's a captcha that um, I just ignore it. So there's just not a whole lot of them out there. There are some, and you could definitely get a, a text captcha solver uh, you can buy that as a service, but nonetheless, uh, the majority of the basic images that can be solved. Number two here is what capture breaker does. And it's a lifetime license, which makes it nice. Recapture version two and three and H capture. Those are the ones that you see, obviously recapture the ones that you see the tick box like this, the ones where you have to pick out, you know, the crosswalks or the cars, the stoplights, the bicycles, the, you know, motorcycles, etc. right? Those are reCAPTCHAs and HCAPTCHA is reasonably similar to that. So HCAPTCHA, if we do that, you see stuff like HCAPTCHA and it, uh, so you can see here where it wants you to match up the like panda bears and, you know, that sort of stuff, right? So HCAPTCHA is coming along. reCAPTCHA is owned by Google. HCAPTCHA is a new competitor that is taking over a lot of Google's market share um, and eating up Google's market share. So these are not solved by Capture Breaker. So when you go posting along, for example, let's click on this project to see if I can show you an example. This is obviously GSA website contact. Um, a Capture Breaker is basically set up. Once it's running, it's just good to go. Once it's optimized and you can just minimize it. It just has to be running or you can push it off to the side. It doesn't matter. I'm going to minimize it uh, for the sake of this. It'll solve the two types of captures that it solves and that's that. For the third type of CAPTCHA, the reCAPTCHA, HCAPTCHA, you have two choices. You can ignore them and not solve them, in which case your success rate will be lower, but you can do that. Um, and that's definitely a viable option. The other option is you can work at solving them. If we go here, we click on our message, right? Down here is the grid associated with those messages. And we can see if we pull over here, the status. So I can actually select all of here. Let's sort it actually. 
Uh, that'll take a second because there's a million URLs. Let me pause this. All right, so we see all the red is the failed. That's what we're after. These are pretty basic. I want to show you a capture one. I'm going to ignore everything except for the actual capture here that we want. So let me get some up. Okay, so I can't actually find a great example. All it's going to say here is it's going to be red, and it'll say capture error, kind of like this. It'll say capture error colon, which is different than this. Um, it'll be very similar to this one right here where it says... This says discontinued recapture one found, whatever. It's going to say capture error, and it's going to say no um, capture service present to solve. Recapture, it'll say recapture v1, recapture or v2, rather, v3, or h capture, right? And you can select these by right clicking and going to select remove, and you can select all recapture h capture errors if you want to actually look at them or export them, that sort of stuff. Um, and so basically, that's where it's at. So you have recapture, H capture. Well, what if you want to solve those? Well, there's two things you need to know. One, you're going to need a service to do that. Um, the one that I would recommend and that I've used is Cap Monster Cloud. Cap, yeah, it's just capmonster.cloud. Um, and you can search for it, CAP monster.cloud, right? And they solve recapture and H capture. And let's make this bigger so you can see it. Roll down here, you can see they will solve H capture, H capture enterprise, and then all the different recapture ones as well. They you pay per solve, so per thousand. So there's different prices depending on the captcha. They even solve Cloudflare captures, which is also really nice if you, nice if you need to solve that. Those are used less often, but if you have a particular website, that's available. Um, anyways, this Cat Monster Cloud is where it's at. So the um, and I can put a link to this next to the video in the spreadsheet where I'm going to give you this and in, then in the, the description. But nonetheless, if you need to solve these kinds of CAPTCHAs, then this is what I would recommend. But what's going to happen is you want to be aware if you use, I don't know what this is set to. Okay, let's say, let's say you have it set to 500 connections. Fine. Set it to whatever you want, whatever's relevant. But um, eventually, if you have a lot of recapture, age CAPTCHA, a bunch of your threads are going to get tied up with recapture age capture because they take a long time. So if it normally takes five seconds or three seconds to submit a contact form or even 10 seconds, it might take 60 seconds to do this. What that means is um, some threads are going to remain free to wind up doing other ones, but eventually you're going to wind up getting a lot of your threads uh, stuck up in recapture age capture because it's a long process. So, so what does that translate to? It's going to slow it way down. So you might be able to submit, let's say that you have a VPS and it's cranking and everything's optimized to your proxy and, and you have high speed lists and the whole nine yards, right? Um, and I can put a link in the description for the high speed list, but um, everything's optimized and you're cranking away and you're getting half a million or maybe even a million successful submissions in a day. Awesome. If you're doing a million successful submissions in a day and you start doing recapture and age capture, that might take it down to 100,000 successful in a day. So it can, it can cut your speed by 90%. Give or take, might be 80, might be 95%. Depends on your setup and the lists and whatever. But um, if you're solving, if you're scraping for URLs and posting and that sort of stuff, it might cut it down even more. So when would I use this? When would I recommend you use this? When would I use this personally? I wouldn't personally use this, and I don't. Um, if I'm blanket approach, if I'm trying to market to all of France or all of the USA and I have millions of forms to submit to, this is not only going to be expensive, it's going to take a very long time. If you did want to do some blanket stuff, I would get a separate server just to run the recapture, age capture stuff on just so your main server can stay sped up. That's what I personally have looked at doing. But at the end of the day, I just don't do it on blanket approach because it's not cost effective. You wind up spending in all the tests I've done, you want to spend more money to try to solve them than you do making the money back on the back end. When I would use this is if it's niche specific. If I am targeting flooring contractors, right? People that install floors, carpets, tile floors, whatever, right? And I have a product that's a thousand bucks a month, 2000 bucks a month, right? Or I'm working with real estate agents or home inspection companies or plumbers, right? It doesn't really matter. Maybe I have specialized software for accountants. If it's a small niche and I have a pretty good profit margin or something that's nice and reoccurring where I get money every month from that particular niche and I can target that niche, then you could use it because it can increase your success rates by 25% or more. So if you're successfully submitting to 50 out of 100, so if you have 100, 
hundred potential contact forms that are scanned, right? And you can submit to 50 of them with just regular capture breaker and whatever. You might be able to go up to 75 successful submissions out of a hundred. So 25%, you know, success rate there. If you use solving for recapture H capture. So that's what it is. That's when I would use it. That's how it works. If you're doing a blanket approach or affiliate marketing, that sort of stuff, I wouldn't recommend it. If you have a niche product, then you can investigate it. And cat monster cloud is the service that I would recommend and that I have used as well. Um, quick note, some people are going to ask about programs such as cat monster desktop or X evil X evil is, um, is a good software. Cat Monster Desktop is a good software. Neither one of them solve H Captcha. Um, I believe at the time of this video, X Evil only solves Recapture version two. Cat Monster solves Recapture version two and version three. They use massive amounts of processor, so you would need a very expensive VPS or a, a high end machine at home if you really want to do this. Um, they are a bit complex to set up and use, and they need massive amounts of proxies and have their own challenges and expenses. Do they work? Yes, they do. Have I used them? Yes, I have. Um, would I use them personally? No. Like, am I using them today? No. If I need it, I just buy it from Cat Monster Cloud. They're, they're a pain in the rear end. I'll just be honest with you. Um, and I can get in there and get it set up and make it work. But, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not going to like try to explain it to somebody else because I don't even use it, use it because it's too much work. So that's my two cents. I'm not saying you can't use those programs. They're not wrong. Whatever doesn't, the only thing that's wrong is whatever doesn't work for you. So that's what it is. That's how it works. I would recommend Cat Monster Cloud or just don't do it. And happy earning. You can have even more and it's easy. There's a subscribe button down below. Find it now and click it right now. And after you click subscribe, click the bell right next to it. And now, Here's a couple other videos that YouTube thinks is best for you.